Try saying a uh, orange. A uh, o. Oh. That sound is very difficult to produce. A uh, o. Oh. A uh, orange. Understand? Sadhguru Sharanam. Hi, dears. How is it going? The topic of this video is right versus wrong. Some sentences are right, some are wrong. So, what's the reason behind that? We'll discuss what makes a sentence right and what makes a sentence wrong. Okay. I have already uploaded a video requesting you to make mistakes because making mistakes shows that you are trying to speak English. If you are not making mistakes, it means two things. Either you are not at all speaking anything or you are very good at English. So if you are a learner, you have to start speaking English and make mistakes. Don't worry about that. Making mistakes really helps in learning. It gives you an opportunity to think about what went wrong. So in that process, the learning is going to be very effective and you will never repeat that mistake. In this video, we will discuss about pair of sentences in which one is right and one is wrong. And we will discuss why is it so. So if you are ready, let's get started. So before we start, please subscribe our channel and if you like this video, please like it, share and please put your valuable comments. Please let me know how you feel about this video and what type of videos you expect from me. Please give me some suggestions. So the first pair of sentences, he is a MLA, that's wrong, he is an MLA, that's the correct sentence. Here, I am not going to ask you to find out the mistake. I have already disclosed which one is right and which one is wrong. So my purpose is to discuss about why one is wrong and why the other one is right. Okay, here we have to discuss about the usage of A and AN. Both are articles we have studied already in our schools. Still, we have confusion regarding the usage of this. Hmm? So that we will clear in this video. So the article A is used before consonant sounds. The article AN is used before vowel sounds. Then what's the confusion? One confusion is you don't know how to identify a vowel sound. When using articles A and AN, we have to focus on the ease of pronunciation. Okay, we have to pronounce it easily. Don't focus on the letter. Focus on the sound that letter is producing. So A is used before consonant sounds and an is used before vowel sounds. Examples, an eagle, an r, an orange, an MLA. Why is it so? If you want to really understand why an is used before a vowel sound, instead of an eagle, just try to say a eagle. When you say a eagle, you feel suffocation here. Okay, the transition is not smooth because after pronouncing A, our mouth is opened like this, A. Then, try to say eagle. Again, we have to keep our mouth open and pronounce the next word eagle. Resulting in a little bit of suffocation. A eagle. Understand? A eagle. So, the transition is not smooth. But just add N after A. Then, an. Now we can close our throat for a while. An. For pronouncing the word N, we can bring down our jaw. Okay. So an. Then we can say the next sentence from that grip. An eagle. We can start that sound in another section. So an eagle. So for that transition, N is simply added there. Otherwise, the meaning of A and an is same. One, the meaning is one. N is simply added to bridge between two vowel sounds. That's all. There is not any serious thing behind that. This simple transition is what is expected. Try saying a uh, orange, a uh, o. Oh. That sound is very difficult to produce. A uh, o, oh, a uh, orange. Understand? But if we say an orange, we are relaxed. An orange. We are getting a grip with that N sound. When using articles A and AN, don't focus on the letter. 
focus on the sound that lecture is producing mm? then you say which article to use before our h o u r a or am a little bit confused isn't it why because h h is a consonant letter we have studied like that and now i am telling you we have to add am why is it so an hour we are adding an before our because even though the spelling is h o u r we are not pronouncing h as ha h is silent here and the sound in the beginning is a uh, our and our that's why i told you don't focus on the letter focus on the sound of the beginning letter but this one example will make it more clear for you what is the article that we use before the word hotel h o t e l can you say a r n the answer is a hotel why is it sir again you might be wondering because here we are pronouncing the letter h as ho hotel hotel ha sound is prominent here so naturally we have to use a a hotel got the point see one more example it's a university but an umbrella in both these words the first letter is u mm? okay you are confused don't get confused just listen the pronunciation the sound which it produces in the first word a university the sound is ya u university the letter is u and the sound is ya okay ya sound that's a consonant sound so we can use a a university but see the next word umbrella the letter is u but the sound is a it's a umbrella so naturally a is a vowel sound so we have to use and before that so an umbrella got it clear so we'll move on to the next pair of sentences you must give him a good advice that's wrong you must give him some good advice this is right why what's wrong with a good advice the word advice is an uncountable noun so before uncountable noun we cannot use a which means one we have to use a before countable nouns only so what are countable nouns nouns which we can count example we can say one apple two apples three apples one book two books three books we can count it but can we count advice no we can never ask how many advice no advice is an uncountable noun so before uncountable noun we cannot use the article a which means one understand so we have to use the word some please give him some good advice is the correct answer got the point do you say give me a water no why the same reason because water is uncountable but but you can say give me a glass of water that's right why because glass is countable we can count the number of glasses so give me a glass of water give me two glasses of water that's right please give me a bread it's wrong because bread is uncountable but you can ask please give me a slice of bread or you can ask please give me a packet of bread i want a furniture it's wrong i want a piece of furniture right because furniture is uncountable we can count tables and chairs but the word furniture is uncountable you can ask six pieces of furniture we cannot ask we want six furniture no that's wrong he is able to buy all restaurants in mumbai he is capable of buying all restaurants in mumbai this is right why the word able is used to indicate things that normally people can do we can say he is able to do that but the word capable is used to indicate things which need extraordinary capacity it's not a normal thing to buy all the restaurants in a place we need some exceptionally rich people for that so we can say he is capable of buying all restaurants 
in Mumbai. He is able to get good marks. That's right. To get an IAS, they need some extraordinary power. He is capable of getting IAS. So please note that capable is also used to indicate someone's future potential. She is able to sing that song perfectly after hearing it only once. That's normal thing. But she is capable of becoming a successful musician. Here, capable is the apt word because it needs a real talent to become a future musician. Okay, so there the word able is not correct. We have to use the word capable. Okay, hope you like this video. Don't just see and go. Please practice all these sentences. Listen again and again and try to comprehend the meaning in context. Then you will not forget these rules and it's going to be a natural process. The learning should become a natural process and you will improve your language skill only by practicing. Just listening and thinking that you understood everything is not enough. You have to practice, practice and practice. Okay, so see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye. Sadhguru Sharanam.